Hey guys, Aaron Zeller here of the Zeller Writing Company and InkOnHand.com. If you remember, a couple months ago we came out with our very first set of rocker blotters, and since then we've been working on some different finish designs, a few different handle options, but we decided why create our own design, we can let you decide for yourself. So we, so, so we now offer the ability to create your own rocker blotter. We have multiple finish options, some different handle designs, and I think overall there's about a thousand different combinations that you can get to make sure you have the exact look that you're looking for. But if I'm wrong, let me know. My math isn't always the best. So I'm gonna, right now I want to show you the different finish options, different handle designs, and how to create your own rocker blotter in the store. So let's check it out. So here is the finishes and handles, handle options for the rocker blotters. But first I want to let you know about the sizes of them. Now for the small rocker blotters, these are all the same as our original set. It's just going to have different finish options, different handle options than the Elmer One series of blotters. Um, and the actual blotting surface for the small ones is about 1.8 inches this way, um, about 3.6 inches along the actual curve. Um, but then for the actual length, it's about three and a half long, uh, just about an inch tall without the handle. With the handle, it's about three inches. Um, for the tall, for, for the large blotters, the blotting surface. Let me grab them really quick. The blotting surface on the large one is about 2.6 inches this direction, lengthwise along the curve. It's about 6.4 or so inches um, along the curve right there. And then the actual width right here is about 5.5 inches. The height is just about 1.7 or 1.75 inches tall without the handle. And that's about 4 inches with the handle once that's in the hole right there. Um, and then of course all the blotters and everything just like the just like pretty much all of our other products um, includes a certificate of authenticity and each blotters include uh, a set of blotting paper as well so you're ready to go as soon as you get it. Um, so here are the finish options right here you, you can see there are five um, along with two different overcoat options. This top right here is the matte or the satin finish. The bottom one right here is glossy. It's always really hard to see the actual glossy coat, but if you look in the light, it's really hard to photograph it. Um, but you can always kind of tell when you put it into the light, you can see the reflections on everything. Uh, so that so there isn't really a difference in color, it's just kind of the overcoat option, matte or glossy. But the actual colors themselves are gonna be natural. And then you have a weathered white, a weathered red, a weathered black, and then the antique brown. Um, as you can tell, there isn't a big difference between them, matte or glossy, but once you rotate it a little, yeah, so it's kind of hard to see on the far end, but you got some reflection in there. Um, the natural one requires an additional coat of finish compared to the stained ones, um, just because it takes that extra coat to kind of get the grain um, raised and sealed and everything. So that, that will take about an extra day or two for the natural finishes but everything else will all be the same amount of time. Um, here are your handle options. You have four different handle options here. These are stained and finished, j just for example, uh, but they can be any stain and finish uh, other than what you see here. So here right here is the single bulb, which is the, it's right, it has the antique white and a matte finish on it, but it's just a standard. It's just a nice little single bulb, aptly named. Um, then there's a double bulb, which you probably have seen on our Elmer One series of products, which is just the nice double size series. It fit, fits nicely in the hand right there. The, the, the single bulb does as well, just a little bit deeper. Um, and then you have this one I called the Bumblebee because it just has stripes on it. Uh, what I did is basically uh, um, once it's turned down, I put a couple of little notches in it, and then I actually wood burn these lines in there. So no matter what finish you have, it will have these black lines right here, which I thought was kind of cool and unique. Um, and then this one is the classic, uh, which is a, a lot more of a um, a vintage cl classic design. What I figured it, it has kind of the, the little bit of a rounded edges here, and then it's 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 mixed between the double bulb. It's basically a double bulb with some extra added little d design elements right there. Um, so like I said, they all that they're they all will have the brass threads right here that will also fit into the brass threads of the blotters themselves, the actual blotting bases. Um, yeah, so overall that the finishes right here, you can see you have five different finish options, two different overcoat options, and then four handle options 
with, of course, all the overcoat or the matte finish will be the same. So you don't have the option of, like matte for handle, matte for the base, anything like that. If you have a special request, you can always let us know in like the comments of the uh, order completion page. Um, but it was just going to start to add way too many options onto the page to actually design the blotter. So we kind of left it out just kind of just one. So do you want it matte or glossy for the entire thing? So if you choose matte, everything, the base, the clamp plate, the handle itself will, will have a matte overcoat. Um, if you use glossy, the same thing, just it will be glossy. Um, and also th these do take additional time compared to our regular products because they are, at once you order them, they are made to order. We don't have a stock of every single finish option and everything because if we did, there'd be a huge, huge stock. And I'm sure some of them aren't going to get ever used like this. I made this one um, just as an example to show there are three, you can do three different color options basically. And it's the weathered red, the weathered white, and the weathered black finish. Um, and I don't know if this option will ever get used just because it looks a little odd. If, if you like it, go ahead. I mean, it is Nebraska Huskers colors. So if you're really into the Huskers, like I am, you can go ahead and get that as well. Um, but if we had to make a stock of each individual um, co combination, they just want to get purchased like like we would like. Um, so they are made to order as soon as you as soon as you place the order. I'll go out and I'll start finishing. Um, it does take about four or five days or so to actually do once you start staining it to allow the stain to dry and then the finish options and then sanding it down and finishing again just to make sure it is as smooth as possible um, and looks as, is at the quality level that we like. Um, so so that we do have one to two weeks. My, my goal would be to have them out within the week that you purchase it. Um, but we do have one to two weeks just in case there's a little congestion depending on the volume. Um, and like I said, they each include certificate of authenticity on a sheet of blood and a, a pack of blotting paper so you're ready to go um, and I think that's about it as far as the options like I said there are about a thousand different possible combinations between the handle options the handle colors then and then the finish of the clamp plate and the base um, yeah so there isn't much else to say oh another reason why we can't do have them kind of already made um, is because they are since they are handmade they are kind of different sizes as well just slight differences so you can really tell the difference here in this larger one where um, there's a length difference so if we just cut a bunch of face plates and kind of just grab and like finished them all natural and finished them all white um, they, they wouldn't necessarily fit all of them so what, what we have is we, we have the base plates and the clamp plates already all put together they're just not finished you can tell, so if, if we put this onto this one, it'd be a little extended on the sides, which doesn't necessarily look that bad when it's extended, but if we were to have to put them smaller, tell that just looks kind of odd right there. Um, so I hope that an answers your question about that. Uh, but right now, let's actually go into the store itself, and I'll show you how to design the blotter and add it to your cart. All right, so here we are at ZellerWritingCompany.com. Um, now to actually get to where you can design your own blotter, you'll go to Shop, Blotting Supplies, and you'll choose whether you want a large blotter or a small blotter. Um, so once you make that decision, you just click on the link. We'll look at the small one for right now. Um, and then you'll come here, and it and, uh, it, the images here will show an example of the, uh, of the blotters, a couple different design options. Um, and then you'll see the finish options as well. Uh, you'll You'll notice a color difference uh, just because for the glossy, in order to get the photo so you can actually see that it's glossy, I had to tilt the, the finish examples a little bit, um, and that made them look a little bit off color. So for the most correct looking colors, you'll want to look at the matte options, um, but then you'll be able to tell glossy or matte just as a quick example on there. Uh, the ones that look really good together I really like are the weathered black and the weathered white, as well as the natural and the antique and natural and weathered black. Pretty much everything goes really well with weathered white and natural. Um, so that's just a couple options there for you. Then you'll see your handle options as well. It's your double bulb, single bulb, the bumblebee, and the classic. Like I said, you'll be able to change the finish options. You don't have to stick with weathered white and a matte finish for the single bulb or anything like that. Um, you can finish, you, you can change that with the options on the screen. I'll show you how to do it right now. So if you come down here to the choose your options section, 
you will make your first decision, which is do you want it to be a glossy or a matte overcoat? And that'll be if you want it shiny or not. Uh, the default here is matte. You can change it to glossy if you want. And then you, have, you choose your handle design. Uh, do you want double bulb, single bulb, bumblebee, or classic? Make that decision. Um, handle finish. What color do you want the handle to be from the finish options? Uh, yeah, so you just choose which color you'd like that to be. We'll look at the weathered. Just click weathered red just for one right now. Um, then your clamp plate finish. The clamp plate is the piece of wood between the handle and the base plate that actually pushes down onto the wood, onto the blotting paper. Uh, so you choose which finish color you'd like for that. And then your base finish is just the larger, the rounded part. That, so which color would you like for that? Um, so once you have all of these decisions made, all the uh, choices selected, you just click Add to Cart. And once it's in your cart, I have one from earlier when I was pre-testing all of this. Um, once it's in your cart, you can just click this little option here, and it'll bring up a list of the choices that you made, um, just to make sure everything is looking good and as you want it before you check out. Uh, shows tax right here. That's only because I'm in Nebraska, uh, so don't worry about the actual prices or anything there. It'll be different for where you are, unless you're in Nebraska, of course. Um, the first few right I have here, I have the first five that anybody purchases um, is $3 off, so you can save a little bit of money purchasing it, maybe being one of the first to grab one of these design your own blotters. Uh, so I think that about covers, yeah, like I said, um, once you place the order, it should be one, one to two weeks, I'll get it all created and then shipped to you along with the rest of your order. Um, so I think that's about it. If you have any questions, just let me know. So I think that I covered this all pretty well. If you have any questions or comments, if you have a custom design in mind that you'd like to see us try to create, we have access to plenty of different woods, including walnut, cherry, even some exotics, and plenty of different finishes not listed on the website. Even if you have a special handle in mind that you want to see us try to create, feel free to let us know because we're always up for a custom order and creating something just for you. So feel free to let us know in the comments below, or you can always send us an email at ajzeller at zellerwritingcompany.com. Thanks. See you later.